Yes, if you look at uh, the the blockchains, let, let's use uh, uh, bit, the Bitcoin blockchain and Ethereum, what you'll find is they have the infrastructure, the technology has not skipped a beat uh, throughout this entire crisis. In fact, the hash rate, uh, Bitcoin's hash rate is at an all time high. And that is a real indication of the security of the network. Uh, on Ethereum, we're seeing uh, the total value uh, uh, staked at 24 billion. That is an all time high. Uh, so we think the infrastructure is working beautifully. Um, as far as Coinbase, uh, this is an onshore uh, regulated uh, company and uh, wanting to help shape regulations. Brian Armstrong, the CEO, and Alicia, uh, CFO, have been leaning in into what's going on right now and saying, OK, uh, regulators, we need more clarity in order to protect uh, to protect investors, those who wanted to uh, get involved with uh, certain types of crypto were forced offshore and uh, look at what's happened. So um, I, I think that Coinbase is going to come out mm. here uh, looking very, very strong. It just lost a very big competitor in right. FTX. Well, well uh, what is the market missing, though? Because, you know, that could be one narrative, Kathy. But at the same time, we haven't exactly seen shares of Coinbase rally since FTX has collapsed. Do you think to yeah. you that represents potentially broader concern about just people's interest in crypto following FTX's collapse? No, I think it's more fear. I think uh, uh, many people say we don't know what we don't know. Uh, and uh, so what we do is we step back, uh, you know, put a little perspective into the situation here. And what do we have? Uh, so the entire crypto asset ecosystem is an $800 billion ecosystem. Apple is three times larger in terms of market cap. So that's some perspective. Many people are saying, well, oh, OK, is this another Lehman? Could this be, uh, you know, could, could we see the domino effect here? I've just given you one reason why. Uh, the banking system uh, back in uh, 08, 09, trillions and trillions of dollars. And it was the global banking system. Uh, right now, we have, it seems, from FTX, uh, five to ten billion dollars uh, in creditors. Uh, if uh, as uh, as FTX has uh, filed bankruptcy, they will be making claims. Uh, if you look at Lehman, that was one point two trillion dollars in claims. So again, just trying to put perspective. This is fraud. This is Madoff. Madoff was $64 billion mm -hmm. in claims. Again, FTX, 5 to $10 billion. Now, I know that uh, crypto assets are, you know, they attract a lot of attention. This is, um, you know, the, 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 the three revolutions we talk about all the time. You know, a new monetary system in, in terms of the first global private, meaning not government controlled, digital, right. uh, rules-based monetary system. That's Bitcoin, a very big idea. Hmm. DeFi is a very big idea. And uh, while that has been uh, thrown into question in terms of you know, shifting from uh, one exchange to another, uh, we've had a lot of shifting around. But I think, uh, I think DeFi, well, in terms of taking the middlemen out of financial services, and and making the ecosystem much more transparent with much less counterparty risk is going to take off. It will continue to move forward, we believe.